you're in this auditorium or this aula, it's packed with students, it's like 150 students out there, the professor is rambling something, and the heat is on, there's a lot of CO2 in the room, you don't quite get the material, you just finished the hot meal, it's digesting, and you're dozing off in the middle of the aula. And these are things that also happened to me, of course, back in my day. And I especially experienced this in my first year. But gradually growing, and you can check that in one of my other videos where I list my grades over the years, I actually found out one secret that transformed everything. And I'm not gonna fill this video up with all blah 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 around it, I'll just give it to you directly. And the tip is, pay attention in class. Now you might be saying, duh, that's what you should do. And yes, that's what you should do. But here's how paying attention in class can save you time and effort. First of all, if you're just sitting there and you're not paying attention to what the professor is saying or your mind is elsewhere, then you're just wasting time, you're losing time. You might be having fun with friends and interrupting other people who are trying to pay attention to get it. Well, try to do the same because if you get it, on the spot, if you understand what it's about, that's half of the job already. If you already get the concept in class, then you just have to revise it. Simple as that. And that really is my best advice for any student. If you understand the concepts that are explained, then you already did half the work. Then you just have to memorize, but you're not struggling to comprehend the material. Okay? And actually, what I also promote in this channel is that you, if you don't understand something, you don't rely only on the professor or your fellow students. The internet, YouTube, is full packed with explainer videos, with mechanisms, with professors, with people with experience in biomedical science, uh, in biology, chemistry, all those courses you get through biomedical science, then you can find that on YouTube. Chemistry, physics, mathematics, statistics, uh, experimental models, you can find it on YouTube. And actually, in the early beginning of this channel, I already made a top 10 overview video of channels that are very relevant when you study biomedical science. So you can check that out right here. Also, because we're a bit further now in time and the channel has already grown a bit, I also did some further exploration on other channels related to biomedical science or any science. So I'm actively also scanning the YouTube community, the internet community on biomedical science and things that are worthwhile to share with you guys in order for you to study better, to have tools and tips and tricks for landing your first job or um, some technical skills even. I have YouTube channels where they actually give tips on designing experiments and stuff like that. Things that you can already use in a professional setting. So. It's not because you finished your master's and you got your degree that you should stop learning. You also learn in your first job, your second job, or if you switch jobs, you keep on learning and you need to adopt that mindset in your career. So guys, in summary, my number one rule, pay attention in class, that's half of the work. And if you didn't get it by accident, by chance, might be that it's very hot and you have a bad day or something and you don't understand it directly, you can bug the professor again, you can bug your fellow students, but you can also actively search yourself on YouTube and try to understand it with some resources that I might share or you can go on and search for yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel for future biomedical content. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Bye.